I just installed this Windows 10 mod that tried to look and feel like Windows Vista Build 5112, and we're gonna compare some of the features and experiences. Briefly looking at the setup, the look of Windows 10 setup is still unchanged, but when you move on to the login screen, ooh, there's something different. It only shows user as the user account name, of course. <laughs> and here we are on the desktop, although it still needs some time to load properly. After we waited some time for the VM to load properly, we can see that from the surface, the appearance of the desktop is strikingly similar to the actual Windows Vista Build 5.1.1.2, such as the desktop background, the icons, watermark, and the taskbar. Strikingly similar. Checking out icons on the desktop first, we can see that there are supplemental drivers which also exist in the actual build that does what it says, <laughs> injecting supplemental drivers for Windows Vista builds at the time. The learn more about Avalon and Indigo that opens in an Annex Mora, how to report a bug that opens an HTML page for reporting a bug just like what the real build looks. Moving on to the start menu, although from the surface, it's a nice recreation, it is a slight difference with the real build, mainly with some missing items in the connect to, which makes the start menu shorter. The arrow for all programs is in a different position, the start menu uses lock instead of lock off, frequently listed programs aren't listed, all programs list programs outside of the menu like what XP does, as well as the search icon being outside of the search box, rather than inside. Oh yeah, also, why did the shutdown and lock button looks like they're built over several buttons as you can see when I highlight both buttons? Going to the taskbar, the start button looks convincing, but I saw little details missing for a bit inaccurate. No shit Sherlock, nah I'm not Sherlock but I saw these details and accuracies with Internet Express showing on the quick launch rather than just show desktop. Time and date flyout looks a bit strange, and all icon trays aren't displayed by default and some of them are hidden behind the notification tray, but these details are okay for me to be missed. Opening Windows Explorer, oh boy, this really strikingly resembles the actual Build 5.1.2's Explorer, although there are still some missed details like the icons on command bar, thicker border between the address bar and search bar, and more details on the details pane, which in actual build, it isn't. As for the window layout, it resembles the basic theme of the real build, even though you can enable arrow glass here in this one later on. One difference that I saw is that the title text is shown in this mod, although it's not on, a on the actual build. Next, control panel, which sadly uses Windows 10's layout because this portion can't be easily changed, well nonetheless, icons inside it are a mix of Windows Vista and Windows XP icons even though there's one sneaky Windows 10 icon. <laughs> Some of the applets are actually a restoration of old applets like date and time, display properties, power options, and the system properties. Well, other than those, it's just Windows 7 or Vista's applet version as you can see. This mod also uses Windows XP sound scheme. Check some of these sounds. How about system applications? Well, here we have the XP version like calculator that is strangely resizable to the side. What? There's WordPad, Notepad, which still uses consoles as the font, Paint, Task Manager, Sound Recorder, Magnifier, and Command Prompt, which uses a classic theme. Strangely, however, is that the Movie Maker is bundled in here, even though it isn't in the real build. I can't load any images because there's no sample media. Womp womp. On-screen keyboard is also available in here. Outlook Express. Remote Desktop Connection. And Pictures and Faxes Viewer that strangely only accepts PNG file. 
Unlike the real build, which doesn't bundle with his XP gains, this mod does include a small number of XP gains for you to play, such as Minesweeper. Oh no! And just like the real build, you can access the games folder right from the start menu. Yes, the game folder can be restored, although it has to be done properly. Windows Media Player 10 is also available in this build. And Internet Explorer, which <laughs> is actually a disguise of Firefox 115 ESR, as you can see with this website here. Opening the run dialog, briefly comparing this to the real build, this resembles more into Windows 10's layout with that grey background panel at the bottom. Moving on by typing the WinVer, the Windows version applet, it shows the actual build this mod tries to imitate, like the full string, as well as the time bomb and RAM available. I hope this mod doesn't actually use the time bomb and just use that as a decorative purpose. You can enable arrow in this build by following this step, by opening the double emblem glass and clicking install to install the theme, and opening Windhawk and enabling glass and navigation bar within Air Explorer while also disabling Classic Con Host, and then disabling Basic Themer on Task Scheduler, and finally closing the Basic Theme on the Notification Tray. Oh yeah, restarting is also recommended too. And by that, opening File Explorer, there we go! Arrow is finally enabled! How cool is that? Looking at the Windows settings, you can see that this is based on Windows 10 2022 update. I'm not exactly sure if this is LTSC or normal 22 H2, but I hope it is LTSC. Hey, but hey, you get security updates, right? More of the Windows 10 signs can be seen with the Windows 10 jump lists, as well as the Windows 10 thumbnails preview if you look very closely and having a very keen eye. Well, not really, just if you have a keen eye. Windows 10 Start Menu can be opened by pressing Shift and Windows key. This is just in case if you want to use Windows 10 Start Menu. Although other features are enabled in here, you can't do Arrow Peak, Arrow Snap, and Arrow Shake. Sure, this is just like what we have in the real build 5112, but in my personal opinion, those features should still be there because well, it's really functional and practical for window management and stuff. Nonetheless, you can use Task View with Virtual Desktop. Thank god it's still available in here. Windows 10 devices and printers exist alongside what we have with printers and faxes. This mod by Mr. Amayosken is just pretty nice after his previous creation with Windows 10 to 7 version 22 H2, and this is definitely a gigantic improvement, but that doesn't mean this mod doesn't have any flaws. Oh yeah, there are so many, well not so many, but there are flaws. Help and support on the start menu brings up Internet Explorer, which is actually Firefox. Autoplay is still Windows 10s. The copy file dialog is still Windows 7 because of well, certain limitations. Libraries aren't having separate color based on the type of libraries. Display properties only accept BMP file for some reason, and duplicating a GPG file sets itself as the desktop background. Like, what? <laughs> all in all, this is quite a good recreation of Windows Vista Beta Build 5.1.2 within Windows 10. Heck, this is the first time I got my hands on one of these. If you have any suggestion, drop an email or my Discord server. I'm willing to wait if there's any good suggestion for that. But actually, I want to ask for you a favor. What about...